our last speaker for the night uh, is Jeffrey Simon Brown. Now, Jeffrey is a Calgary based theatre artist uh, and he's co creator of the Major Matt Mason Collective. He is also the writer of Circle, which is currently uh, running right here uh, at Alberta Theatre Projects. So, what do you say we give him a warm welcome? because it backs onto Fish Creek Park um, and often has wildlife spilling out into it. A uh, different phase of my life, I've walked through this park at night from lovers' houses, searched for bugs, bird watched, um, organized games of capture the flag, not necessarily in that order. I have seen it burn down and drown and grown back as though nothing had changed. Uh, this is one of my favorite trees in the park. Uh, at one point it was hit by lightning, split in half and died, and then started growing out of the side again. When I was in grade 12, I tried spending the night under this tree with my first real girlfriend, but it got so cold that we left. And uh, we ran back to my parents' basement, still wrapped inside of a sleeping bag. Um, there are four bars and five liquor stores in Deer Run, uh, including one liquor store that stays open until 2 a.m. Uh, when I was 17, I tried to buy a bottle of wine there. He asked for my ID and I told him that I lost my wallet. And uh, he said, uh, you're just a youngster, aren't you? And he smiled before kicking me out. So I still make sure to buy beer there whenever I'm back in Deer Run. <laughs> um, because of the amount of liquor merchants and uh, because there's a, there was a high frequency of teenagers and young adults when I was growing up and because there's a bunch of parents who would rather have uh, kids under their roof than drinking in a field, and because of the high frequency of fields, um, Deer Run was the place to be. Uh, staying up all night talking and drinking and crashing out on someone's floor, watching Men in Black and going out for breakfast the next day. Um, our favorite haunt was a bar called Philo's, which was located in the middle of a shopping mall named Deer Valley. Uh, the locale was made up entirely of parents, uh, BLT enthusiasts, and our friends. Uh, one night we asked the bartender to make us a shot based on the name McRillin. Uh, he used Crown Royal, Jack Daniels, and Banana Liqueur. We ordered it so many times they taped the recipe up on the wall. Um, the week after one of my friends passed away, we filled the bar every night. Uh, someone's mom would order a round of Krillins for the group and there would be around 60 shots made because there were so many of us. Uh, they went through a lot of Banana Liqueur. Um, I was one of my first friends to move out. I lived up north by Peter's Drive-In, but still made the journey down Deerfoot four or five times a week to see my parents, my dog, my friends, or rehearse in the theater a friend of mine built in his mom's basement. Um, picture will show up shortly at that. Um, the next year, I went uh, home to I went to school in Montreal, and I came home every summer and Christmas to stay with my parents. Uh, but every time I came home, more of my friends had left for uh, Kensington, Mission, Vancouver, Kelowna, Victoria, Toronto, St. John's, Montreal. Um, I graduated school and I ended up moving back in with my parents this summer as I finished the rehearsal draft for uh, The Circle, which is a play I wrote largely about growing up in the suburbs. Uh, and it was juxtaposed with uh, watching as the last of my friends left uh, this community that we had all grown up in. Um, the portables, some of the portables have now been taken off of the elementary school and less kids come for Halloween these days. Uh, Deer Valley Mall was torn down and Philo's was rebuilt as a shiny new restaurant that feels more like a Moxie's. Not that that's bad, it's just different. Uh, <laughs> it's an interesting feeling living in a place as a child, a teenager, and an adult. Um, last week, I went to my old elementary school to vote and standing in the gym, I thought about who I was at age six and wondered, now that all of the cells in my body have regenerated several times over, if I'm even the same person that I was then. <laughs> at the beginning of last month, I moved out of my folks' house for what will probably, or hopefully, uh, be the last time. Uh, <laughs> I've left home a lot of times now and uh, built ones in other places. That's my house. Um, 
And I'll probably continue to do that all my life. It's one of the things about living in working in theater. Um, each time I leave, I'm struck by the fact that what I'm leaving is different. And it's made me think of what the idea of home is for me right now. Uh, I think for me, at this point, home feels like less of a physical location and more like a mark on your skin, uh, physically or, or figuratively. Uh, it's built in a moment of truth, sitting on a roof with a new friend at 3 a.m., and uh, it's rediscovered in a look of recognition with the person from your past who knows things about you you wish no one did. Uh, there's an adage that I like that says you spend the first part of your life trying to leave home and the rest of your life trying to find it again. But now I'm coming to terms with the fact that maybe for me it never existed at all, or at least not in a place, that it's ephemeral, or it's fleeting, that it's always there in a connection to a person or a feeling. Uh, being involved in theater, I find myself constantly building families and homes, uh, spending 50 to 60 hours a week with the same group of people who see you at your rawest, your most vulnerable, your giddiest, and your most cranky, having what are hopefully real emotions, feelings, and experiences together, living for 12 hours at a time in a little box or on the road, staying together in hotels and at strangers' houses, and then just like that, it's gone. And you either never see those people again, or you can never have the same experience because you know, you're working on a different script. Uh, but there's still that same gleam of recognition seeing them. I see you, I've seen you. And I think what I love about theater is that moment when I see a good play, I get that feeling for a moment, or for many moments, sometimes for an entire performance, uh, this human recognition. I feel more at home in that recognition than anywhere else in the world. And when I get that feeling in a room full of people who are also having the same experience, there's nothing like it. And even after the lights have come up and everyone starts discussing the costumes or the acting, I know that there's something that's passed through all of us that none of us can describe in words. Uh, but that we recognize something very intimate about each other. Um, Creating theater for me feels like a very selfish and generous act. It's selfish in that I make theater because the energy I get back from the audience and the people involved makes me understand more what it is to be human, what it is to be in my own skin, and what it is to be home. But I hope that it's generous because I hope that that feeling is mutual. Thank you.